Up close and personal. Hello. Well, I can scoot it back a little, but we want to be able to. Hello. No drama. Makeup mama. Marathona giggles. Giggles. How are you guys? I know you're first. Aria Lemley, hello, hello. Ashley, life with ankylosing spondylitis. Dylan Blair, how is everybody doing? Dion J, Allison Bidwell, Kathleen J, Linda Dollins, hello, sweetheart. Sarah Gronholm, Darlene Figueroa, Samantha E. Clark, how are you, darling? Anna Ray, Brian Hi, D. Everybody. Dysautonomic Ang, hello, sweetheart. So, oh, oh, thank you, Allison. Tanya, hello, beautiful. Hi, Tanya. Random reviews with Stephanie. Um, Jessica said hello. Sharice's pieces. How's everybody doing? Teresa Whitehurst, hello. Confidence Plus, hi, sweetheart. Ashley McCool. How is everybody doing today? Francesca Stewart, how are you Hi, guys? Everybody. Oh gosh, <laughs> thank you. But we're like no makeup. We're like, oh, we didn't really we're like want to go live. Cause well, I did Tracy Maxa, hello, darling. She says hi to you. Who? Tracy. Samantha Clark, Hi, how are Tracy. you doing? Oh, isn't this beautiful? My my beautiful girlfriend Tracy Max sent this to me, and it's like totally my favorite piece, my favorite scarf that I own. I absolutely adore it. So you know, it's so her. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a my, my mom, mom scarf. scarf. <laughs> Something I would have totally been like, oh, I need to get this. Yeah. <laughs> guys, my nails oh, are done. Thank you. I, I know we fixed our nails last night. I was gonna go live last night. No, Mine are I don't pink. Like they're not they showing out, up very pink, I don't think. But they're like a nudie pink mauve. with a spark. Yeah, a mauve pink. Oh, thanks, Brian. Um, I was watching Abby's Allure box. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, so I probably deleted it. Was it? Oh, Linda it says Dollins? retracted. Yeah. Oh. What happened in the box? You got to tell me now. I'm like, what? Well, she has her box right here, so. No, it's okay. It doesn't matter if it, it had something in it. That's okay. Big D, hello there. Yes, how are you? you? Celestial Way, how are you, sweetheart? Kathleen J, I know the mauve. I wanted to wear the mauve, too, but she has yellow undertones, and I have pink, red undertones, so when you put the mauve on my hands, it made every bit of red show up in my hand. So I can do it on my face because the makeup balances out the redness. But when I put it on my nails, it did not look good. Yeah. Barbie someone, Thaxton. Hello. Sweetness313. Like like Little shadow. I'm sorry. Tragedy 6996. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm know. sorry. I'm forgetting what they're called. I think it's like a beauty concierge that's what she called herself and she looked at my veins and she said i had like a pink undertone and i'm like um no like i don't have no mm -hmm. pink undertone no, i'm pretty doesn't. sure it's yellow yeah her yellow tone is more under or more more yellow but yeah but, it is it is looking like it's gonna rain we're in california Amanda too Marvel, and it's been Terry raining Collins, like Sarah almost Brown all week snowing again oh my gosh yeah, oh, Brian, we're in California, too. Yeah, I think it looks Amanda. like we got another storm coming in, Brian. What part are you in, Brian? Hi, Mandy, Hi, Mandy Hoffman. Hi, Nellie. Nellie, hello. Little shadow, Vicky. Oh, thank you. Thank you, tragedy. Thank you, honey. I'd rather have the rain than the snow and ice. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the rain as well. Uh, as as much I wanna hi to you, Marie. I want to see Kaylee. How are you, honey? No hot water. Oh my gosh, honey. Oh my gosh, Brian. We're in Inland Empire too, so we're pretty close. We're out in um, Temecula area. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're neighbors. Crowning lions. Hello. Welcome. Oh, 
we were just talking about this confidence, Natoma. Um, my girlfriend, Tracy Maxwell, sent yeah, me this, so and it's not. absolutely like my favorite scarf. I love it. Oh, Jesus is the only savior. Hello, Hello Samantha. Yeah, e. I've Clark. never like been in Megan. snow before, so like I've seen it, but I've never like actually touched it. Justina Rock. Oh, you. Oh, now you're in Washington. My girlfriend lives in Washington, Justina, and she had snow. She sent me pictures. It looked amazing. So are you getting a lot too? Chelsea, hello. Oh, thank you, crowning lions. I love that. Love you can send me little bits of snow. <gasps> I'd love that. Hi, Mary Murphy. How are you, sweetie? Pam Smith. I know. Hello. It gets so cold here, especially in like the beauty room, which we're in. Lisa. It gets so freezing. Hi, Lisa. What Sorry, are you cooking? Doll. Are you gonna Lorena? I know what's for dinner. I know. And what We're time hungry. shall it be delivered? Hello? <laughs> we need a cook. We need someone who wants to cook in the house. No. <laughs> Nothing but rain, Vicky, huh? Oh my gosh. It's it looks like we're getting another one. Oh, Kathy Stevens. Hello. Hi, sweetie. I thought it was pretty, but I cannot draw, so wanted to send someone. Grilled ham it. and cheese, oh, with tomato soup. See, I'm a grilled cheese and tomato soup girl, but that's See, I've never just had without grilled the cheese ham. and tomato soup before. That sounds pretty Oh, good my gosh. Time, it's actually. so good together. Grilled cheese. So grilled ham and cheese would be just as good, really. No, my dad has done that one time, and he's like, you need to try it, and... Oh, you Shelby. made a butterfly in art class. Hi, cool. Hi, Vicky. Oh, my mm. gosh. Leftovers again. That's what I had last night. Meatloaf leftovers. But my husband makes a mean See, I'm like that cheese. type of person Ooh, that another like, doesn't cheese. really like leftovers, except if it's like a restaurant. <laughs> I'm kind of picky. <laughs> my granddaughter wanted to melt. She'd have to buy some dry ice to melt the snow. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be all, why is that package smoking? No. <laughs> from the dry eyes. You had chicken and bacon stuffed pizza. Ooh. Tim's hand is doing better. Um, gosh, I should have had Dylan slow down the chat. Dylan. Oh, is he gone? No. Sorry. Okay. My hair is still wet. I got out of the shower like an hour ago and my hair. Oh, that's awesome, crowning lions. My husband's learning how to cook too because of my illness. So it was kind of forced upon him, but he's actually doing really good. I know, confident. I know, I'm super hungry it's right making now, me hungry, so. too. But. Oh, oh Valacia, just she's making keep Alfredo standing pasta. and Yum. just keep having faith, babe. Just keep thanking the Father. Thank you, Father. We've prayed about this job, and you are able. Thank you for that. Thank you that you have the job for me. Just keep thanking him, honey. My brother, um... Oh, I'm sorry, it's Barbie. One of his favorite foods is fettuccine Alfredo. I forgot to tell you, I'm so jealous of your beautiful hair. Mm. Oh, thank we you. We got together with Tanya I in know, California over the weekend on actually Monday, right? Yes, Monday. We had so much it fun. Was really fun. We went to TJ Maxx, which that store was a hot mess, I'm telling you. I'm not but kidding. I found these nice sweats that I'm Yes, Savannah wearing. got some sweats. Her, Sorry, I'm all my, holding her leg up. My no, foot for the foot fetish people there. <laughs> no, we don't appease those weirdos. But, um, but the store was like the beauty section. I had not seen a beauty section that bad in a long time. Like everything was picked well, apart. Well, when and we had actually went and... to Marshalls or something, and things were gone. I'm not telling. Things were oh. swatched. One boxes in every five boxes were, there were so many was boxes stolen. Gone, like yes. so many products gone that weren't in the boxes anymore. And I'm just like, and we, my mom kept saying, "This is so, Justin, this is so bad. Sweetie. This is so bad." And then one girl was like, "I agree." It's what, really honey? Pathetic. Oh, okay, babe. Sorry. Hi, Ann. You've got to go Wednesdays more. Yeah. Thank you, it, honey. I just wonder if it's different. Everybody's shipment <laughs> is different. And we don't really get out in the mornings. We usually leave. Like, because mornings are pretty yes, hard for Megan. her. So we usually leave, like, do things, like, near, like, 12. Oh, Allison. 
Honey, oh, I'm so up. sorry, sweetheart. Okay, Allison. Well, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to show you guys the Ipsy boxes that I talked about. Everybody bring a pen and a paper so that we can start writing down what every single person is dealing with, myself included, and what we want prayer for so that throughout the week, like this is going to be my... I'm going to use right now. I haven't gotten a prayer journal yet. I was looking and shopping and I didn't find one that was perfect, but I think I might make my own, but I'm going to use my, my, this is like my, it's a date book, but so I'm going to use a page in here basically like this and I'm going to mark it. And what we're going to do is we're going to write down what everybody's prayer requests are and with their names and, so that we can be praying throughout the week and we can each just put our hands on the paper and, and just be like, Lord, I lift up every single person's needs to you so that all of us can be praying together. I'm a retired veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I served for five years and I've seen a lot of things done and it's been fun. fun things. It's been thing. it, but it's been fun, but it's been things that I do not decide to do, but I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, that I couldn't even imagine being put in that position, Crowning Lions. That, um, well, thank you for your service. But yes, thank you for your service to this country. We don't take that lightly in this house. We no. appreciate your, your sacrifice and your family's sacrifice for our freedom and for our, even though I don't agree with everything our government does and, and how they do it. I appreciate what you guys do because you're doing it to help us. And Willingly. we don't take that lightly. That's, we really think that's a great, great service you do for us. But yeah, I like the idea of a prayer journal. Good too. cause. So we're going to do that. And then as the week goes on, we can be next week. We can, as we do of the lives, even if it's throughout the week, we can add things to the person, like to like let's say someone else is, oh, oh Shelly, thank you, honey. So we can add to it, and we can just say, like we can just like amend what we need and add to it. And this yeah. way, we are all starting a prayer chain for each and every person and each family member. And I'm telling you, I really believe that this is a God-given idea because I was going to do it myself. And I thought, why am I just only including myself in this? We can all be doing this. And and look. Okay, tragedy. Every. um. Thank you for stopping by. Though. Yeah, thank you for coming, tragedy 6996. Thank you, sweetie. And look, I know I'm not expecting every person to be like, go through the list. If you have the time to do that and God puts it on your heart, then that's great. But God already knows and we can put our hands on it and be like, Father, I lift up every single person in this journal yeah, you to don't you. don't have to. I mean, and, if you want to pray for two hours, yeah. like you can, but like. Right. And there will be days that I will do that. Many days that I pray individually for each person. But, and so I'm going to get a book that's specifically for that. But since I don't possess it yet, I'm going to use this and then I'll rewrite it and do it in another book. I do but, not tear to not. I know. And I heard yes, what happened. And, I am so And we're already you. praying about it, sweetheart. We are. And you are good. Look, and I want you to, I want you to hear this, sweetie. I already see it. I see it. I see it. God is going to do this, but just ask the Lord what is he trying to show you in this? Because there is something he's trying to show you Everything in this. Everything happens for Every a reason. Every single thing is happening for a reason, honey, but I already see them doing it and it's not going to be as long as you think it's going to be. It's not or as long as they even think it's going to be. As long as it's in his hands, it will turn out perfectly and you know, use my example and because I did that Remember how they were stagnating my channel and I kept talking about what YouTube was doing? Thank you, Melinda. You're so sweet, honey. And it just kept my channel stagnant no, because you, I wasn't going to God. 
don't do what I did. You go to God and say, Father, this channel's in your hands. And I know that you're able to undo anything that they do. That happened for a reason, sweetheart, for such a time as this. I really believe in all of this has happened. And that me giving that testimony is an example for you to go, okay, I don't want to do the same thing she did. Learn from my mistakes. Don't repeat them, babe. But I know that God's got this, and I know it. I know it. He got your back. He got your six, honey. That's right. And I'm telling you, you know, the word says that some of us are going to be put in jail because of our faith. Tracy. Oh my goodness, honey pie. I just love you. Thank you guys so much. You don't have to do that, but thank they you so much. The earnings I made. Well, you'll get it back. Yep. And and God can God can make them give it back to you too. And we can't look at the loss. We can't look at the circumstance. We have to go, Lord, Jesus is the name above every name. He is the name above monetization and demonetization. He is the name above YouTube and any owner who is involved. He is the name above it all. And we have to, we have to put it in his hands. Or if we're doing it in our own effort, we're, we're basically saying, I don't trust you to handle it for me, Lord. And look, don't take that as like any kind of judgment because I'm not judge. I'm not saying you're doing that, but I do that. I even can get to the point sometimes where I think I can give God a great idea about how he could fix our circumstances. Like we all have that in us. So it's not to, to, do you know what I mean? To make you feel bad or anything. I'm just trying to encourage you, sweetie. They said I had suspicious. I saw that they took down your slut box videos, too. Oh, crowning lines. Like, I went to Thank your channel you. when I heard, and, like, they were gone. Well, I'm going to start. I already know, so I'm going to start with Brian, crowning um, lions and Anne. Brian I'm going D said that he wanted me to get better, so he asked if we could pray for that for him. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Let's. Okay, so Brian D is his name. And then crowning lion. No, you haven't missed anything. Uh, is it Elena? Alenia, I'm sorry, I cannot um, pronounce for the life of me. And then um, Anne is... Oh, we will not forget about you, Lisa. Do not worry. No, we're, and I'm just doing it because people are talking about it. I want to start this when we're all ready, but I'm going to write it down just so I don't forget these things. Hi, Christina. Monetization. But um, I'm spelling it completely wrong, but God knows. I'm telling you, my brain today. But I did want to just show you guys the fun, Steve. Okay, your mom is found alive and well. Your mom is missing, sweetie? And if you mentioned it to me before, forgive me. But with the lupus, I end up forgetting. Okay, Justin. You know? Um, Justin. Okay, thank you, Justin. And then Aria. Kaylee, I think I saw you post something, but I didn't. And is it far that, up? Her mom is found. I have a man-made cancer. Oh, yeah. I, okay, I see what you are. And who is that now? Kaylee, have, Heather. Kaylee. I have a man-made cancer and have lost everything and still am. I'm trying to work through it, but it gets worse and worse. Okay. You tell me since I can't write and see it at the same time. Um, Lisa asked if she can get a copy from you. Yes, honey. Of course you can. I'm trying to because you're and cooking. Cook. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that, sweetheart. I I got you, Lisa. We don't can even worry. Send you a picture of it too, and you can print it if you know how to do that through like Tracy. If you know how to print, if you have a computer, you could do it that way. But I'm not sure. Send it through your email, and then you can print it. Of course, Aria. Of course, honey. About feet, your feet being swollen, Tammy Collins. 
Can you finish reading what it says? My feet are swollen and what's causing it? She wants to know what's causing it. Swollen and the cause. And Kathleen J said she needs, her and her husband needs prayers for their health. Okay. Okay. Well, the chat just went. J. Thank you, Angel. You're so sweet. Her and husband. Justina health. Rock said I just need a prayer. I can get through all this stuff with my boyfriend. Since I found out he cheated, I'm having a really hard time working through it. Okay, Justina. Mm -hmm. Justina Rock. I feel my issue is so small compared to... Don't, Don't look even at it. Don't do that. Even... Every issue is important yeah, to us and to every, God. It's valid. So what you went through is the difficult thing. So don't try and minimize it. Yeah, and that's very that's a terrible, terrible thing to go through. Tanya, her feet too. Um, Pam, confidence plus Pamela. If you could add me to your prayer list, I. She just needs prayer. So Natoma, yep. Mandy Hoffman. I need everyone to pray for my mom. She had court today for them to decide if she is going to get disability or not. We Who will, is it? Mandy Hoffman. Okay. We will hear in three months, hopefully less. So pray that she will get disability and she'll get it soon. Her mom get and you guys can put that on your list for me because I'm going to be applying for disability as well. Yeah. And so that and I have to do it by the 15th of next month because I have to get something grandfathered in because the laws are changing. And so if you guys could pray as well that I will be approved for that. Um, no drama makeup mama Jessica. She said, could you pray for Beckett? We have to go back to the cardiologist in April and it's weighing on my mind. Also, I would like an email as well for the prayer list. Beckett. How do you spell Beckett? B E uh huh C K E T T. Uh -huh. What a pretty name, Christina. Beckett. We are making a pr a prayer Beckett. list. So, and he's got to go back to the doctors for what? He or she? She, right? We have to go to the Beckett. cardiologist in April. I think that's okay. her husband, right? Okay. Is it? Oh, Tanya, not her feet. Tanya and Kelly said not her feet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Okay. So I got to cross that. Okay. Well, I'm going to pray for, I'll just leave you on there, but okay. But okay. So on Christina, of course, Christina, but Christina, Chris, Christy, wait, can, I'm going in order. Can okay. You, um, Christy Nagel said, please pray for me. I went to my ortho Monday and I'm going to have an ankle and ankle fusion surgery in May. That does not sound nice at all ankle surgery yes an ankle fusion I, an I ankle think. fusion surgery in what month may um yes all right hold on michelle rosa she said i am in the er since this morning she just wanted Aww, to say hi honey we're we're making up prayer list sweetie so we're putting Sorry you on if i'm it. not seeing your comments i'm going through i'm yeah if you don't if you don't hear us mention your name just repost your comment so that we get you shannon this is the headband that erica reynolds made me and yes. sent me see i love it it's I'm totally putting them to you. Allison, don't even say you don't need prayers. That's such a ridiculous comment. Not no, to be mean, Allison, but it no, is. honey, really. She said, so just put her on there. Allison, I know what Allison's dealing with, so I got and Allison. And Sarah um, Gronholm, mm -hmm. please pray these chest pains are not my heart and how my stress tests go. Okay, that's Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Gone home. We didn't miss yours, Jessica. We got you. I got you, We're Jess. going in order, so don't yeah. think we missed it. I'm literally going Okay, Beckett is three. Okay. Angel Harlow. Sarah gone home. Wait, tell me Sarah gone home again. What? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Please pray that these chest pains are not my heart okay. and how my stress test will go. And then we have Megan Burham. Who? Megan Burham. I see her right at the top right here. 
put my daughter Layla. No, I did. Okay, I'm not there yet. I'm okay, going, I'm going through my phone. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'll get to them, but I want to get to the other people. I've already got her down, so. Okay. Then Angel Harold said, please keep me and my family in your prayers. God knows what they are. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. You're go I can only write so fast. So she just said, just Who is pray. It? Angel Harold. Okay. Just pray for her family. And she just said, God knows what they are. Okay. Amanda Marble. Okay. Prayers for us. We are going to back forth to court for my stepson. Okay. Is this for custody? Look, you guys, I know you guys may not want to put things, but when we pray, it's better to the, be it is better to be specific because God is a God of order. And you like this is certainly going to be a generalization as far as an example, but you could say, Lord, I'm believing for a new ring and you're really wanting a specific ring. And you're thinking, Oh God is like, a but if rock like, like you could be saying like this specific ring, but if you are not telling him that he's not obligated to he do that, someone will ring. bring you a ring and you'll be like, that's not the ring I was asking you for. We must be specific. We must and, and plus, when you're waging warfare, Jesus is the name above every name. And when you know a name, then you can come against the spirit behind the name and you can bind it and take authority over it. But if we don't know, it, it makes it harder to, to, to pray accurately for somebody. And so please don't be embarrassed that Every person has issues and is dealing with stuff, but I don't, don't want, want you it, to be embarrassed email about it. it. Email it to her. Her okay. email is at Melinda the, um, Martinez is her right shoulder. Did I write her down or not? Wait, not yet. Okay. okay, go ahead. Christina Casarizio, did you get her? She said, please pray for my health and her son who is heading down the wrong path. Yeah. Dylan, can you come let Jake out? Okay, it's okay. Okay. And then, and then I'm Melinda looking. Martinez's shoulder. Yes, yeah, she's having surgery next week. So right. Surgery. Claudia okay. Eulario. She said, Hi, Pamela and Savannah. Prayers for my diabetes. It's so uncontrollable. They put me in a strict diet because my sugars are high. Okay. And... Tracy Maxa health issues her for her my raid my ride myriad yeah and health issues and she and, has diabetes as well and then Please. Mary Murphy she said if it's not too crazy please pray that my son who is becoming a police officer and my daughter who is entering the air force are both covered by God's yeah. blessing during their service and that they remain. That's not crazy. That's no, smart. That's smart. That's, that's smart. wisdom. That's right. And then tell me when you're ready. Okay. Covering and protection. And protection. Hi, Beth Lockhart. Okay. Hi, Beth. Rebecca Brooks said, keep me on that list of my husband need to get over being hurt by my friend and my husband's blood pressure is very low. They took him off all his medication and it's still low, like 80, 40 low. Oh my Yikes. gosh. Yeah. And then what was it about the friend? That to get over being hurt by her friend. So. Okay. I see you, Lisa. I'm like, you're literally next on the list. I was literally going to okay. say that. She said, Lisa Smith? Yes, please pray for Lance to have clarity. Okay. And you have a bad feeling, Shelly? Did I miss a comment you said? And then 
Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. What, Shelly? So what no, is it? Jessica. No, she just said okay. she had a bad feeling. Um, Jessica said Beckett is my three-year-old little boy. He's missing a valve in his heart. So that's what that is. Where is that, Megan? No drama. Okay, Megan. I'm what? sorry. Okay, Jessica. Okay. Megan Berman said, "Could you put my daughter Layla on your prayer list?" She's, yeah, I've got her. Okay, you got okay. her. Allison. We're gonna give you a prayer. It's not that no, hard. absolutely, Please. babe. No, it's she said. No. I can tell you guys, I don't need a player. Please give them to someone else. No, no. honey, please. There's plenty please. of uh, enough for everybody, sweetheart. I know it's not and like God we only cares have about prayers, every so only hundred of you. That's can right. Get no, every <laughs> person is important. Every single person here is important. Everyone. Okay, Kaylee. I saw her. Okay, so oh, Beth, congratulations, sweetheart. Okay, let me see. We're making a prayer list right now for everybody, Beth. Carrie Racy and Anjali. Carrie Racy, please pray for my PTSD health and that her husband gets a job soon. Oh, okay, hold on. You're, you got to remember I'm writing. I know. I'm sorry. PTSD and husband gets home soon. Please pray for her health uh -huh. too and that her husband gets a job soon. A job. Okay. And Confidence Plus, her prayer is requested just for her mental and physical health in general. Toma. Health. And her physical health, mental okay. and physical health in general, is what she said. Okay. Next. And Pam Smith said, please pray for her sons. Please, my sons, their father on life support. Okay, so pray that her husband yes. makes it. I, I get, I think. Um, okay. Melinda Martinez, please pray for my upcoming surgery next Wednesday. Oh, you got her. Melinda, and it's surgery next Wednesday. I didn't get that part. Okay, next Wednesday. Got it. Okay, and... Um, Mar Amanda Marble said custody. yes, it is for custodies. Okay. Um, An Anjali wanted prayer for something. Yeah, she's. I haven't gotten there yet. Subscription lover said. Lover, okay. Can you pray for a close family member who is having severe depression? Oh, yep. In a little while, they were talking about suicide. Her with depression. Suicidal yep. thoughts. And suicidal thoughts and attack. Yep. Tammy okay. Collins just said, Pamela, I would like to say something. We talked on Facebook and I told you what was wrong with me. And so you prayed for me that day. Well, today, my all her tests came back good. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. We just give you the praise for that. Amen. Oh, okay. so awesome. She just wanted prayers. And Jolly. Okay. She wasn't specific. And Jolly, do you want to tell us like specifically what you want prayed for? Is it like over your family, health, job, school? Felicia LaBelle said. Where is that? Felicia? Yeah. Felicia. Felicia. She said the specific name of the company that I want to, job, to have a job with is Kimarin Energy. I'll pray that she is. Cimarron energy. 
That's how good I am at pronouncing names, guys. <laughs> Awesome. Beth Lockhart said, please pray that every mm -hmm. that everything stays well for me. My neighbor, her blood pressure keeps bottoming out. He is dropping too low. Okay. And for her neighbor, right? Yeah. I'm having trouble. Shelly said I'm having trouble getting a referral to a dermatologist. And the ones that I've talked to are saying that because of my insurance, it will only be run as secondary insurance. Okay. Referral. Approval from insurance. Megan... Got it. Megan Burham said, please add to mine. Okay. Pray that the courts will not make Layla go back to her biological father since that that bad stuff happens there. Layla not to go back to natural father. Teresa Wilson. Okay, Teresa Wilson. Please pray that I get out of this wheelchair someday. And can I ask what you're dealing with, Teresa? Dylan, can you come let Jakey in? He's just staring at me. Okay, so do you want me to just keep going? Lisa Smith said, please pray for Cindy Boyd. Yep. Her health and Beth for healing, which I think we got her now. Linda. Oh, wait, sorry. Linda Dolan? Yes. Said... That's me. Depression and anxiety need prayers. I sent disability papers in. Depression and anxiety. Oh, gosh, I'm butchering words here because I'm trying to write so fast. Okay. And then, and Dolly had said migraine and health. You got it, sweetie. Yeah, that really helps when we know what exactly to target. Okay. Kathy Garcia said, just please pray for her family. Okay, bye, Shelly. Oh, she you're said, leaving? She said, call me tonight. Uh -huh. I'll explain best I can. Maybe you can help me understand what they're saying. I'm going to hop off from here having a nervous issue and can't hold the phone still. Love you all. Oh, well, Father, right now I just lift up Shelly to you, Father God, and I just pray over her body. I pray. I just lift up, Father, the pages of these people and every single person in here, Father. I lay my hands on here and as a point of contact, Father. I just use my faith for every single person and every single need that is mentioned here. I come against the spirit of anxiety and depression and suicide, Father, and I bind it and I break its power in Jesus' name, which is the name above each and every one of those names. I pray, Father God, that you would send forth a host of angels to administer healing to every single person in this live that has request requested prayer father god to shelly now as she's dealing with panic and anxiety father god i pray that you help her to get out of her head lord and to just trust in you more and to just focus on you and meditate on you instead of meditating and all of us do this father where we meditate on the problem instead of meditating on your goodness and your power and your authority and you know i just did the exact same thing and you had to set me straight father 
help us to not lean on our own understanding in any given given circumstance, Father, and in all our ways acknowledge you and you will direct our paths, Father God. I thank you, Father, that any when we pray anything according to your will, you hear us. And when we know that you hear us, we know that we possess what we've petitioned you for according to 1 John 5, verse 15 and 16. I thank you, Father. Your word also promises us where two or more agree touching anything that it will be done by you. And that as we come together as friends and family and this YouTube family that we're creating here, Father, and pray for each other, I pray that there is nothing that we will be able to accomplish in prayer because we're coming together as your children seeking you and your face and your will over our lives, Father God. I pray, Father, that you release every single bit of tension from every person's body that is here today due to stress and the circumstances that are, they are going th through. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just envelop them like a warm blanket because the word says you are our comforter. So comfort each and every single person now, even as I speak, Father. I pray not only that, but you would encamp each and every person here with angels of protection, Father, in these wicked and evil days that we live in, that we would be prote protected in coming in and going out, Father God, that our homes would be protected, that our property would be protected, that our children would be protected. I plead the blood of Jesus over every single person here, Father God, and where the blood has been applied, it cannot be denied. I pray over Anne's channel, Father God. I pray that it doesn't matter what YouTube does. You are the name above it, Father God. I pray that you would re-monetize her channel this week, Lord, and it would be just done to where only you would get the glory for it, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to use her mightily on that channel, Father, to influence many people. And I pray that you bless it, Father, that you bless it and increase it, Father, that people would come from everywhere to see her channel, Father God. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you that you would do the same over every person here who has a channel, Father God that they would use this channel to your glory, Lord, and that you would bring the right people at the right time for each and every person's channel and grow it, Father, in spite of what YouTube is doing with purging and anything else, Father, because you are the name above every bit of it. And so, Father, I pray for every single family member of each person, of every person in here, any person that is suffering or going through and has needs, I pray that you would meet every single need, Father, spirit, soul, and body. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you. We're to gather in, in, in your name that you are in the midst of us, that you are here with us now, Father God. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your healing power. I thank you that you can cure any disease. And we just put our trust in you, Father. Help us to leave it there and to not take matters back into our own hands as we're all capable of it, Lord. Help us to just lean on you in every single area. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So be it. Love no. you, Lisa. No, Enjoy know. dinner. Can I, Mom? We need to finish. I'm okay. There's the more. Chat. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Linda Dawn said, "I I gotta see a neurosurgeon for my back and have it redone. My doctor thinks it's the pain and depression at the same time that's making the anxiety so bad." It's too reconstruct her back basically well god can reconstruct your back as well um teresa wilson says i don't have a hip on the left side and the right hips auto fused and i have and i've had over 40 surgeries in my life and doctors say no more okay no hip on what side left side well jesus can give you back that hip Sure can. And had had 
40 surgeries. Mm -hmm. And the doctors are saying no more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Thomas, hello. Yes, Thomas. We can pray for Thomas. We're making a prayer list, Thomas, for people's prayers, and I'm going to automatically put you and your wife on it. Okay, yeah, got them. Got them all. Yeah, if there's anyone else, you can, if there's anything you need to, um, Shannon, is there anything you wanted me to put on here for you, sweetheart? No, I'm so, well, it's okay, actually. Never mind. And then um, I'm already putting Ashley down for spondylitis. Dysatonomic gain. What's mm -hmm. her name? Dysatonomic. Dysautonomic. Dysautonomic gain. Sorry, I cannot. I have it. I just always forget. Uh, yeah, I'm I sorry. apologize. What's her name? So I could call you by your name. She said, could you please pray for a good friend of mine who was diagnosed with cancer this week? She is supposed to have surgery on March 19th. What's her name, if you don't mind it? Her name's Angela Dice to Okay, That's okay no, name. I know her name is Angela, but what's her friend's name? What's your friend's name, Angela? Okay, I'll remember it now. Angela, like an angel. Angela. Yeah, I can imagine Kathleen. It must be freezing. Brian D. We already got him. Okay, we got it. Yes, you're you're so welcome, Deborah. Brian. Okay, Deborah. Deborah, thank you. Deborah diagnosed. Okay, what I'm going to do, you guys, is, um, could you, Alice would, oh my gosh, yes, Alice, of course. That the strike and what state is she in? WV. West Virginia. Okay, Tanya. Kaylee Heather wants to add on something too. Okay. Could you also add on my aunt passed away and I have to go Friday and I'm sick. And I, I'm so sick and that, that I hope I can go. So she wants oh, okay. to go. So. Yes. Able to go to service. Just got you, Kaylee. Brandy Reynolds, I'm pretty sure we got you. Um, Let me see. What's Brandy say, though? If you could add me for my pain and family, I'd appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to oh, put I, it just Oh, you were right behind um, Dystotonomic. You were right pain, behind Angela. Pain and for family, yeah. right? I thought we got you down for some reason. I have to turn the page. Hold on. Okay, there was another one. Random, Random reviews. reviews yep. Stephanie said, pray for safe travels. I'll let you write down her name. Uh-huh. Pray for safe travels for my mom, my youngest daughter, and I have, we have been driving down to Florida from Michigan. Wow. So just safety on the road. Yeah. Safety back and forth from Michigan. Elena, Elena McMeans. Elena? Yeah. Hi, Paola. Hey, Paola McMeans. It's okay. Paola. I say Paola for some reason. Okay, she said, 
Please pray for healing in my back. And also, I'm starting over after leaving an eight-year-old abusive relationship. Please oh, pray good for, for you. For courage and strength to not go back. Yeah. Andrea Cole said she can't comment on the lives. Really? See, we had this problem with, um, how did she get it up then, though? How did she get that up there? What? How did she say she can't comment if she, do you know oh, what I'm she saying? She messaged me on Instagram. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Dylan, can you go in to Andrea Cole and see if something is like, I don't know what to look for, but look to see. Because remember when we went, when Savannah went to Anne's live and Savannah couldn't comment and then Anne did something. I don't know what she did, but. Oh, Catherine. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll tell you guys what you can put on your list for me in a moment when I get everybody done. Yeah, that's. Unless someone, other people have more things to say, that's all right now. Thank you. Thank you, Crowning Lions. Thank you so much. Is it Justin is Crowning Lions? Is that, did I remember that right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Justin. Blessings to you, darling. Thank you so much for coming to my live tonight, hon. Yeah, maybe, Tanya. I don't know. I had this problem on Anne's live where I couldn't comment. Oh, Maggie, awesome. I'm so glad, sweetheart. Oh, Andrea, she's looking, she's, um, she's watching along. Thank you, I'm sweetheart. Sorry, Andrea. Andrea, we will get it fixed. I don't know what it That's was. That's really weird because that happened to me on Anne's live and I'm like, why can't I comment? And I'm like freaking out, like commenting a bunch of things. Yeah, and then, we haven't even done anything to where it no. would be like your name <laughs> would come up or anything. Do you know what I mean? Yes, Paola. Do you have one, sweetheart? Oh. Andrea Cole needs prayer, though. Can okay. Tell you? Yes. She said, I am having surgery next month and full, a full hysterectomy and am having lots of pain. And she's having to miss work. And then, oh. I'm so sorry, honey. and missed work. Paola said she's going to... Um... You're so smart, though, to contact Savannah through Instagram, so I'm glad you're thinking. Hi, Vonda. We're doing prayer requests, sweetie, so if you have any prayer requests... Thank you, Erica. His hand's doing better. He's doing a lot better. It's healing up. He's. It's pretty much all healed. It doesn't look good. But he has full mobility, which they did not think he would have, which God gets the glory for that. So, oh, Catherine, I'm sorry, sweetie. Paola, Paola Owen said, could you please pray for my children to keep God in their hearts and for him to guide us to be the best parents we can be? Yeah. Also, my husband is going through a stem cell procedure tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, what is that? That's been... A stem cell procedure? Stem cell procedure. Which today is what date? The 20th? So, he's on the 21st. The 21st. Okay. Sherry Watson. Oh, awesome, Jean. Okay, Sherry Watson said, I have one lung on an oxygen 24 7 and it's hard to breathe. One lung on oxygen. Difficult. Oh, I see, Paola. 
pray for well, you. I hope everything goes well. Yes, in Jesus' name, it will go well. Jamie, we are doing a prayer list. We're writing down people yeah, who need if you prayer. Have, if you want prayer, tell us what yes. you want prayer for. And we'll Your write prayer requests. Down. What we're all doing is everybody's writing down everybody's prayer requests yeah. so that we can all be praying for each other throughout the week and put our hands on the prayer list and write down and pray for each person so that all of us are lifting each other up in prayer every week. And then when we do the next live, we can add to the list or even do praise reports and things like that, where we get a prayer chain going for everybody on the lives. We will tell you, oh, um, thank what, you Maggie. what our prayers yes. requests are soon. Did Shannon? Yes, my family, we just... Oh, did she, honey, Shannon, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. she said that, remember? Yes, I, I knew it. I knew what she was dealing with, but I didn't know she passed. Okay, family. Okay, Samantha E. Clark is next. Okay. Okay. For her health, she can't eat solid food anymore until they figure this out. And also my mom, she is on an oxygen tank 24-7. Her blood pressure is only 76-54. Mom's blood pressure? Mm-hmm. Needs to be regulated. Okay. And then Jamie Carioli said, I need prayer again for Aaron. I think that's her son. He Carole. did okay. fail this quarter, and I go up tomorrow to find out if he can continue in school because his financial aid is out of the picture due to two failed quarters. Okay, Father, we just thank you for favor for this situation right now. Father God, we thank you that you are able to turn it around, Lord, and that you that each person that touches this paperwork would be willing to show them favor in Jesus' mighty name. So be it. Evelyn and Rose. Financial aid. Aid to continue. Okay. She's. Said if you all if you all want to pray for my son, he is nonverbal and oral aversion, afraid of solid food. Oh, so still on puree. Okay, slow down. Oral. Don't eat solids. He's still on purees and almost four. Really. Wish he could eat some real food. Yes. Oh, I want some food right now. Now that you say <laughs> something, I'm so hungry. Okay. Yes. Sherry Watson said that her mom and her sister had thyroid cancer. Okay. I rebuke cancer in the name of Jesus, and I come against this right now. And I just thank you, Father, that Jesus is the name above thyroid cancer. He is the name above every single thing that is named today. And I just thank you, Lord. Again, I just thank you that angels are going forth to each and every single person on this live and ministering every single need to them and to their family members, spirit, soul, and body, Lord. As I place my hands on these papers, Father, it is a point of contact 
And I thank you that you are able to cover all of these and so much more. As we pray, Father, you are able to take care of every single person individually at the exact same time because you're you're God. And we just give you praise and thanks that you delight in every single detail of our life, that you care and you love us so much that you number every single hair on our heads. And so, Father, I just pray for health and healing for every single family member and every single member here, every person present from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I pray, Father, if you have to replace body parts, then so be it. I thank you that you can give a new hip to my sister, Lord, who needs a hip. And I thank you, Father, that you can replace lungs, that you can replace teeth, that you can you can do everything because all things are possible to him or her who believes. And we believe and trust in you now, Father. And where we are weak in our faith, then I ask you to help us to grow stronger, Father. And we are, where we are weak, we lean on you, Lord, and your strength and your faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it. So be it. Um, Samantha E. Clark said that her mom's left, only 20% yeah, of her lungs that. are working and the rest are dead. Fonda in Wonderland said, I need prayer for wisdom. I'll let you write down her name. Okay, I know Vonda. I need prayer for my wis for wisdom for all my kids to make godly choices and for me to be a good mom. Okay. Okay. And just salvation for children. My main caregiver quit yesterday. I need another good one or to be able to get along. For Vonda? Yes. And a caregiver. Okay. And You're welcome, Christina. You rest, sweetie. You rest. Oh, celestial way, honey. You're just as amazing, doll. I love you. I miss you. I'm sorry I haven't been able over lately. I've not even been able to barely watch YouTube videos. It's been so crazy, but I'm coming back, girl. I will. I promise. I need a snack or something. Well, go grab something really quick. I can. I can well, get I don't it here. Know what oh. to eat. But um. So, yes, we will, every single week, I'm going to get this all organized and writ, write, written up nicely and put in my prayer journal. And then each week what we're going to do is we will go through these. And um, maybe that would be interesting. Okay, Kathy, you can always email me too, Kathy. And anybody, if it's something that you don't personally feel like sharing publicly, then you can email me. And you guys have my word before yeah. the Lord. I'm not going to share your personal information. That is not my right. I take this as an honor and a privilege to do what I'm doing for you guys. And I take it very serious. So write me, Kathy, and I'll put it down on my prayer list. But so I can tell you guys what our prayer requests are now. If you guys want to hear that, I would really, truly appreciate it. There are very, very many. And I'm telling you, it's um, been crazy for us. Um, well, first, of course, my health. Um, I don't know if everybody knows I have lupus, fibromyalgia, RLS to make it short, but that's restless leg syndrome, which is flaring up, flaring up tremendously bad lately. I have hypothyroidism, so my thyroid is slow. And I also have arthritis and degenerative disc disease. So um, I'm pretty sure that I have more autoimmune than what they have tested me for. But because we are on Medi-Cal, which is state given insurance, um, they basically do the bare minimum. Um, my husband has not, I was, I'm serious. This, my memory is another thing. The issues with my memory because of this is it's been crazy, but I was thinking we had gone just a few weeks without work when it's actually been, this is now our seventh week without any income. 
which is like insane. So we're having to use every bit of our savings to to make it through um, right now. Um, also, just for protection over us, Dylan is now applying for college applications and he is applying for, um, what is the word, scholarships. Dylan has had, he's been on honor roll since he was in kindergarten, like all the way through. So if you could pray that he would get approved for a scholarship because we can't afford to send him to college. We can't afford to send him to a junior college. Pardon? Yeah, he wants a scholarship into a school that is a university, not a junior college. He wants to go to, like, not is it not Princeton. What's the one you liked in L.A., Dylan? Not in L.A. It's oh, it was Pepperdine is where he wanted to go, but not anymore. I not guess. anymore because of where our, we're living right now. But um, also, if you guys remember, I told you guys about our friend Steve that we had to do the wellness check on last week. Well, he's in his 80s. He's 84 years old. He is not doing well. And there's a man who is named Freddie who is trying to swindle his property out from under him. And he, we, and I, I look, you guys, I don't use words. I'm very particular with words that I use. And I don't say things that I don't mean. So I believe he is going to kill him. And once he signs over, he has a viable offer on his property for a cash buyer. And he's turning it down to this, this guy who's trying to swindle his property out of him yeah. for a few dollars and then to make payments. Which and then had problems before. And he's stolen from him before. And he's saying if he's going to put in writing that if he dies, that this guy is the beneficiary. Well, I know once he gets that in writing, they're going to kill him. I know it. I know it in my spirit. And so if we have to, we're praying for the wisdom of the Lord and what to do, but we've had people checking on it. My friend Tracy has been helping me and um, we're going to have to turn them over to adult protective services. Well, if that's the, the last, if that's our, that's our final yeah, thing. We have done this, Kathy. You said, I thought a senior we have, but he... Um, he left it. He, he left, left it. it. He's living in a home that He's they stubborn. burned down. That it's red flagged. It's already red flagged and considered. He has no electricity, no running water, no heat. And he is just a it's very stubborn, here. stubborn, hard-headed man to deal with. And I, I mean, that's being kind. So... We love him, though, and God brought us together for this reason, to, for his protection and everything. And I just don't want this guy to get his way and to get his property out from under him. And, um, yeah, Shelby, it's, it's, it's so sad. It's this disgusting. This is just something we can't deal with right now either. Yeah, and on top of we, everything, it's like, oh, my gosh. We've now reached we're... out to one of his sons, but... He's made boundaries with him. He does not want anything to do with him. He was very respectful. So don't think that he was no. rude in any way. It's he Steve's fault that they're Steve's not in fault. his life. So he said it very respectfully. He was a very nice guy. And but he, he said, doesn't. Sorry, I he says, I can't get involved because he abuses my family verbally. And he's, he's bitter and blames them for everything when it's not it's his fault. But. And my prayer for Steve is, is that the Lord is not going to allow him to die until he gets his heart right with him because he loves the Lord. And he's a very, he has a very unique gift with the word, but he's in unforgiveness and he has allowed the root of bitterness to get into his heart. And so if you could pray for Steve H and, um, Hi, T. 
I don't know what one hundred. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. But praise the Lord, I don't see any money coming through though. But no. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what to say to that. But um, with messenger, messenger, I don't. But oh, awesome, Evelyn! That's amazing. Thank you. That's a specific because I prayed specifically that there would be nothing wrong with that baby. Thank you, Lord. He's so good. That's because, yeah, Jamie. Honestly, it's if so I'm sad. being completely honest, I think they want to use the property for drugs or something because in the modern town where he is, that's where they grow all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And so. That would be my only guess. And it's really bad. But I'm just pray that but it will go to the place. He has a it. cash offer. Yeah. Which would set him up in a new home and take care of him the rest of his life. Yep. And this person is working him 24 7. And Visiting we go him, over as much as we food. can to help him. But with me being sick and. Everything we've gone through, it's so hard to be there 24-7 for him. when And when he refuses a lot of the stuff we offer to right. him. Right, he refuses a lot of our help. Groceries. He refuses. We have, to, we have to literally show up with the food and put it in the mm -hmm. fridge and be like, we're not taking it back. Um, so it's, let me tell you, it's not just on the internet. Greedy opportunists people are everywhere. And it, it makes me sick because he's just an innocent old guy who No, that's it, Teresa. He doesn't want to leave his land either, but But he has to. He has to. He can't yeah. take care of himself. That's the truth, Jamie. There is only but we're praying and if I have more people praying as well, that definitely gives God more access to him because you know i know you guys i'm not sharing these things like as if you guys are ignorant to it but the i share it because the lord puts it on my heart but as we pray for people even people who may not even believe in god we are allowing god access to a small portion of their life whereas he can't go against free will so as we pray for people we give God that access that he needs to get in and move on their behalf. Hello, Sandy. Yeah, Heather, it, that's so disgusting. Wow, Vonda, really? That's just, oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to be praying over that too, Vonda. Have you guys ever had the peanut butter filled pretzels? Yeah, that's, that's what we're having. They sell a huge thing of it at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Just felt the need to tell you guys. Well, the cook is out on a job bid right now, so we're like winging it because we usually eat dinner right about this time. But mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's oh oh peanut butter with Oreos. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I haven't had peanut butter with Oreos before. I love peanut Anna, butter. Anna, you need to try them. They're so good. And I think your kids would like them, too, if they're, like, fans of peanut <laughs> butter. They're the perfect snack. Well, I'm telling you, Shannon, the grace of God is on me to do it. That's how. Because I'm not kidding. When when I get off of these lives, I'm usually, like, the like laying down immediately because... It is really hard. I, I have to sit certain ways. And um, like when we went to, to lunch with Tanya in Cali last week, on Monday, not last <laughs> week, but I, this it's is in my I brain, I'm off, telling it you. Like it's like, week. oh my gosh. Um, sitting at the restaurant, I can't sit at a restaurant booth and talk to somebody for like five hours like I used to be able to do. My body can't handle it. So, um. T, we were doing, we did a um, prayer list. If you want, I can, um, if you want to email me, I can email you the list after I write it out and everything so that you know what to pray for 
and you can just put it in your journal. Okay, sweets. But. Oh, Aria, thank you. But I'm trying to think what else was, what did we have? It's okay. We want to leave California and we have been believing God for this for quite some time. And, um, so we need, oh gosh, I don't even know how, like we need help because we have things to sell that would help us make, make that process e easier. But with my husband being the sole income and me being sick, we just don't have the help that we need to, to list all of the items and to sell the items. Um, and we need to know where God wants us to go and the provision to do it. So, um, and it seems like every single time, you know, we have something that would get us ahead. It comes at a time when we're broke. So we never, ever seem to be able to break past that to get ahead, to get enough savings to move like this, like right now. So, you know what I mean? So the best that we, um, Tanya, thank you, sweetie. Well, I, I don't carry them. I just give them to the Lord. And this is to me how we're supposed to live. It says in the Bible that we should carry one another's burdens, but where we carry them to is the throne. It doesn't mean we take it on ourselves and we, we do what we can naturally to help, but this is how we're supposed to live. You know, if you guys think about it in Acts, the church, people used to bring their income together and they would pool it. And then the needs of the met was the church was met so that nobody had need. There wasn't, you know, like we're up here, we are, we're billionaires. And then there's people here that are homeless and there's no one like the billionaires not helping the homeless. Everybody helped each other. And that example is there because that's how churches are supposed to be run. But I know not one church that runs that way. The church is always like, we need a bigger building. We need this. We need this. And the, the, the pastor is a millionaire, but everyone else is stinking broke. That's not what God had in mind. So, yeah, Aria, I hope. I, you never know. That's right. But we're supposed to live that way, helping each other. Sabrina, I saw your comment. To move. Okay. I'm here's just thinking of what you could pray for me for because what she's saying is like enough. You know? Jean, here's the thing. We had gotten to the point where we had a good chunk of change saved to where depending on where we moved, we could go. But my husband's like the type who's like, I don't want to do it because see, we're moving his whole career. Wherever we go, my ha my husband at, 50, at 63 has to start his whole business over. So he doesn't want to do it without you know, knowing that, we'll knowing that we have stable. enough money saved so that in the interim, while he's promoting his business, we are not starving and that I'm like on my deathbed because I'm so hurting. Like I have to switch doctors, which you guys have no idea. I have went years without being able to get any kind of medication for the pain in my body. And I just for the first time got a doctor who who really loves me, who really listens, who goes above and beyond, and I have to leave that as well. But I know we're supposed to leave California. I know it. And all of us want to. But I mean, so I there's so I many don't. things that go with it. So like my husband is like, I wouldn't. Honestly, he's all, I wouldn't go with less than $30,000. I wouldn't move with less than that because 
but we're a one income family and my husband is a, a self-employed construction worker. So it's very challenging to get to that level of savings. And every time we even get like halfway there, something happens and then all that savings gets strained. And it's like, oh my gosh, I don't understand why it happens, but it does. And that's exactly what's happening right now. He's a, he does, he's a, basically he does home improvement. His company is Tim's Home Improvement, Tim Ebert's Home Improvement. He can do everything from electrical to building to. He just decides not to do certain things he like does, carpet. Right. He doesn't lay carpet. He won't do that. And I agree because of his age. It's Carpet's taxing. Terrible. Um, he does mostly kitchen remodels, bathroom remodels, flooring, things like that are his specialty. Really, Jamie? It's the lowest cost of living in... Um... Wow. That... I haven't even checked that. But... You're welcome, Tammy. I'm so happy for you, sweetie. Tanya said we need a, new, a few new outlets put in because they won't hold a plug. Maybe we can work something out. Okay, sweetie. Absolutely. Yeah, I can have my mom text you his number if you want. Or I can just send it to Janessa. Because California isn't going to be what people think it is right now much longer. California is not as amazing mm -hmm. as everybody thinks it is. It is just a state that is like so over glorified. It's not even well, funny. It used and number to be one, good. Let's we have a governor who's doing whatever the heck he wants at any given time. They're yeah. going to separate it. They've made it a sanctuary state without anybody's voting, even voting on it. They just did it. And California is going to be judged. You guys mark my word. California is going to get hit. New York and California are going to be the first two states that get massive hits because of, not because God is striking them down, because we create our own judgments. We do, and governments do, countries do, queens do, princes do. They have to rule and reign in justice and in according to the Lord, or they'll be judged. Well, Calif the U.S. is going to be judged, and there have been too many people I know that have gotten prophetic words about it that New York and California will be two of the biggest states hit first. So, yeah, I honestly hate that people hate Californians. I don't understand why people think that we're like some rude people. I've heard people be like, Oh, Californians are so stupid. And it's like, okay, thanks. Um, we don't see Kentuckians or whatever. Are where mean. do you live? T? I know Brown County, but where is that? Is that California? Not California, is it? California is very pretty, but that doesn't make it worth living there. In my opinion, Colorado is like the only state that has it all gorgeous and low cost living and lots of. Yeah, California yeah. is not just as great as people say it is. It's honestly. Yeah, but did you know um, who's talking about? Is it Anna, Anna Ray? Yeah. Anna, did you know that that is now where the new head of. Um, Oh, what do you want to call it? Well, they've moved Langley, Virginia. Langley, the CIA, is now in, in Colorado, but they've done it without announcing it. Um, Colorado is like the head of where all of the, the bad people are. I mean, the bad people in this country. That's where they put them now. Where they oh, all, where they their base is. Yes, they people? moved... It, it's gosh, I'd have to get my notes out to explain it to you all properly, but I've studied this stuff for a really, really long time and done the research. And um, I Colorado is not a state I want to be in because my uncle is there. I have a brother there in prison in Colorado. Yeah. Um, anyways, California is not that great, period. 
It's just not. I mean, California is beautiful, and I will not justify that. Like, if we were to leave, when we leave, the thing, only thing I will miss is the weather. It's more than that, Dylan. Yeah, the weather I'll miss. The what? The weather is really nice out here. I think that's <laughs> what people like about it Shannon. the most is the weather. But it's honestly ridiculous when it rains because everybody freaks out. Are you in Tennessee, Shannon? And that's kind of annoying. Aren't you in Tennessee, hun? Because that is one of the states we're considering. I actually and have family in Tennessee and Michigan. I have family in Ohio. Um, we were also considering Texas. And we were considering Idaho and Montana as well. We've thought yeah. about moving to Michigan, but I think Aria. we're kind of... Oh, you're in Idaho. Oh, we want to go to Idaho, yes. I don't know about Arizona. Isn't Arizona, that's... Um, it has a lot of UFO activity. It's kind of scary. Yeah, Arizona. <laughs> Arizona is a hot spot. I mean, spot. that's where Area 51 is, so I wouldn't want to move to Arizona because of that. <laughs> Well, and, and not only that, you guys, you got to keep in mind, too, that the pole is shifting. The, the pole is shifting. So the North Pole is not going to be at the rate that it's moving. Again, my notes, I don't have my notes right in front of me, but they said that I think it's the upper states of California is going to be like the new North Pole. And the, I'm trying to think of, maybe, maybe it's Canada. And then Texas is going to be where the equator runs or something. Gosh, something I'd have like to that. look at my notes. But Canada's because the be, pole is Canada, actually Texas shifting. Is, it's a thing, people. Because oh, Carrie. It's, <laughs> it's, the weather here is really weird. Like California, it's usually like summer, summer. It gets to be like 100 and stinking 20 here. And now it's like weird weather. Yeah. And see, here's the thing. The, that's why we, we've kind of ixnayed Texas a little bit because my husband does construction. And out here it gets to be in the 120s. And it's. He doesn't it's, like that it would it's be humid. bearable because there's not. We're dry it's here. Not it's not humid. But in Texas, you get the humidity, and my husband's like, I don't think I could take that. Yeah, no. So we've kind of, we had already found property in Texas that we were believing for, that we were really hoping for, because we want to get that. acreage. We want to go somewhere where we aren't in homes on top of each other. We want to kind have of like land. Where we are, like, we have neighbors, but there's, like, a decent amount of space where we're not, like, can toss a cup of sugar to them. But, like, through the windows, like, I don't, I would not want to be next to, like, someone, <laughs> like, in track homes. I wouldn't want to do that. That's so funny. Your fake accent brings out my real accent. <laughs> Evelyn. That's Sometimes funny. Sometimes I think I just have a natural southern yes. accent. Sometimes it just happens. Sometimes I do it purposely. Jamie, but that's true. But overall, so I sound like a That's why Californian. just people praying and helping helping us to pray for wisdom and in, in where God would have us go. Um, Tennessee may be a viable option because I have family there and I could build on my uncle's land. And, um, but there's, that's a whole nother long story as to why we aren't sure about that. Because if everybody knows family, it can be very, Hi, Johnny. Very, very difficult. Yeah, we're just not. Hey, Johnny. We just haven't exactly picked a spot where we we're like, that's definitely where we're right. going. Just, it's just, I don't know, because for sure we thought Texas. We were like, okay, we're gonna go to Texas. It's not too much different from California. And we love. So we're just Texas. not sure anymore. We, yeah. Good I food. I do oh, know gosh. people in Texas. I do have friends in Texas. Hi, Laura. Yes. We do have so I wouldn't be going completely not knowing, not knowing anybody. You know what I mean? But um, again, my husband is the one that has to work. And short and he, of a miracle, 
we do have some stocks in a company that we invested in years ago and they actually got a 20 year contract with the U S government. And then something happened with the shares. The company was about to go public and then it just stagnated. So God could absolutely resurrect that and change that. And then we would be able to go anywhere and not have to worry about it. But Oh, it's, there's just so much. So it's just, but just if you guys were praying about those things, that would be amazing. We thought about uh, 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 Ohio, but I think we kind of just made that too. Well, Jamie, Ohio, if, if we could get a place in Ohio that had land, that wouldn't be unviable because my brother is moving to Ohio with his family and his it's wife, Ohio, it's Idaho. no, 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 no. Okay. Well, they're thinking about that now, but I, I, Ohio is where they want to go because that's where Michaela's family lives and they have several, they have ministries established there. So my brother would already be able to be in, in their ministry and start a church. And we would probably be go right in line with that. But, um, we'll I wouldn't want to go to stuff. Ohio unless I knew we could find a place where we would be able to have land and I wouldn't and want to be in a real populated city. Here's the thing. My dad has a problem with, um, being completely like out in the open plain, like having a lot of land because he wants to be like near a town where he can actually get work because it's construction. If we lived in like a town that had like five houses, okay, then thanks, we wouldn't be able lover. to, um, really make a living. Well, that's good to know because see, we don't know that about Texas. I don't, every little bit of help helps. So Laura, I got your package, honey. I know. We thank you get your, so much. Shelby, I did, we got your letter. And Shelby, thank you so much. You guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't think about it earlier, but thank you so much for sending those little sweet letters and notes to me. That was in my Valentine's from, Laura, that was so cute, honey. Thank you for the time you put into those little Valentines. I loved it. Well, I don't know. Oh, how would it be too Tiffany bad? Tiffany Green. Hi, sweetie. Our crazy life. Just, my dad just wants to move somewhere where there's work, where he'll be guaranteed work. Because since he does construction, he's not like with a business. He's by himself. On his own, yes. So it's a lot different when you're by yourself. So our crazy life, you live in Ohio too. And that's what we want. We want like a small farm town, something like that. Where, but not so far to where my husband couldn't drive yeah. to do what he does. Like he do you know do what I mean? Minute drive. Like, I yeah, do well, hour. you know, he could drive more than that, but if he had to, but yes, it would be, if we were like 20 minutes on the outskirts of a city, that would be like perfect and be able to have land that would work. Are we going to move before Dylan goes to college? Um, all like Michigan. God's timing. That's all I can And see, say. you know, Kathy, I was born in Michigan. I, I have family in Michigan. So that I do know that we can go stay with my Aunt Julia until we found a place. They live in Troy. And um, I know that. With her connections, she would be able to help my husband because she used to clean homes of like a lot of very wealthy people. And she also has a, a dog sitting business. But you'd have to know my aunt to know the story. But she's like one of the sweetest, kindest people. Dog so everybody her loves ever. her. And she has friends like all over Michigan. So I know that she would be able to help us. But that's why I'm saying we need to know where God wants us to go and having people to be praying for us to help us to have that wisdom would be great. I saw your great. comment, Johnny. We will do it. Uh, yeah, Little Kansas. Rock. Yeah, that's Kansas, awesome. That's where Lisa is. She said Kansas is open to the Ebert family. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know because I'm telling you, I don't care where. I just want out of California, but Wait, it will not be New York and it will not be Florida. I can tell you that. Don't have tornadoes there? I don't think I can handle that. Well, as long as tornadoes we'd have a basement, then that'd be fine. Like, I just, those, that's just, that's kind of scary. Yeah, Sandy. I, Chicago would be 
a little bit. But Chicago has such a high crime rate that I wouldn't want to go there either. No, Ch- no, Chicago is no offense, but I've heard so bad, such bad things about Chicago. Like, I I heard it's, like, going such downhill on us. Well, Laura, North Carolina, the weather has been strange everywhere lately because they can control it now. So you it's have growing, it? it's going crazy. Well, aren't you guys, like, Tornado Alley, like, in that strip? Maybe not, but that's good. You grew up not far from Troy and St. Clair Shores. I moved my children north to Traverse City because it's much safer. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to be north because I have family in Canada as well. We were actually even considering going to Canada, but the transition to live there is so difficult that we kind of poo-pooed that idea a while ago. Erica, you're in Pennsylvania. See, now, that's what I thought, Chan, in Tennessee. Now, where are you in Tennessee? My family is right outside of... um, they're in the 615 area code, I can tell you that. So I think they're right outside of, what's the big city in Tennessee? We're all, Nashville. They're right outside Nashville. Really? So that's funny because I heard Chicago has the highest crime rate in all of Cal- well, in all okay. of the country. I'm sure you guys have nice areas, but I've heard otherwise from the news. Well, it's not just the news, but I from the ratings, like when you look for places like to move, the murder like rates is the highest. I think Michigan in the, is one is number Michigan one. Michigan is Michigan. No, Chicago I think, is not that far. No, I think Chicago was number one. Was but it? But I'm talking about like you know, it, I how I think about Chicago is how I think about Los Angeles. Los Angeles, you can go to parts that are just full blown. Nice. Tr- gorgeous, gorgeous, high end. I mean, amazing where they have zero crime. And then you can go blocks away and you are in the ghetto where you could, you can't walk down the street with your purse on your shoulder. You can't like you, it, you can't do it because the crime is so bad. So that's kind of how I think of Chicago. Chicago is beautiful. And I think it's one of the prettiest cities. I think it's even prettier than LA. But um, with acreage closer to larger cities, but the weather is crazy lately. But, oh, thank you, Brooklyn. I just finished them last night. I did both of our nails yesterday. So, um, yes, like Detroit, too. Exactly, Kathy. Yeah, exactly. I'm kind of used to a small town, too, because we don't live in, like, a huge populated area. And I think our population... I don't, if I were to guess, 100,000? Yes. It's just very hot. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I know, I'm I'm telling you, it's harder when, it's harder when you start really thinking about it. But the big, big thing is, um, if you guys would have to see... <laughs> I, before we came to this property here, I had been sick for about um, three years, maybe three, maybe four. And we had a really big house, be- like just a couple years before we moved here. And I was sick when we were in that home. And that was like in 2007 when the market crisis happened and all that. And we had to walk away from that house. We moved into a house where that person lost that house. And then we had, we were only there a year. Then we had to move again and we came here. So when I got here, my health started declining. And I think it has to do with this house. I think this house has a lot to do with my health declining. So we still have like tons of furniture and belongings that we haven't even been able to like sell off because I'm so sick. So everything has to line up in it. If I look at it too long or think about it too long, it's overwhelming and it could stress me out. So I don't go there. I just put it in God's hands and I know that somehow he'll bring us help and it will work out. But I feel like our time is running out. You know what I mean? New England. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Hi, Christine. Oh, Priscilla. Yeah, Mary, she told you're me. In New England. Yeah, I didn't know you were in New England. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it at least. Oh, he did. Hi, Christy. Oh, Savannah, the the or Erica. The reason why we need the pencil and the paper is because we we did a prayer list of everybody's prayer requests. See, all these are everybody's prayer requests. And so um, I have your email. So when I get this all written up, I can copy it and send it to you, sweetie. Email it to you, okay? I'm 16. Yes, Lisa, it is. It is in his, in his hands, and he will work it out. I'm turning 17 this year, Aria. Oh, she's doing a challenge, no mirror. Ooh, that would be hard. <laughs> that, that's bad. That's awesome, Johnny. Congratulations, hon. That's amazing. Oh, Poochie. Bella. Cornville. I live up here in Can Cornville. <laughs> I used to snowmobile when I was um, little and toboggan. I remember it still to this day. And we left Michigan when I was six, and I still remember it. That's how much Michigan impacted me. Kathy says, hi, Tim. They heard you. Saw you walking by. Everybody was asking how your hand. Show them your hand so they can see how it looks. Hi, everybody. Show them. So. Hold it up. Yeah, you got to. There it is. Can you see that? Here, like, turn it like that. There you go. Can you guys see it? It's healing up pretty good. Yeah, it's it's doing really well. Yeah, it's it's scabbing it. It's gonna leave a, 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 scar. a scar. Yeah. But it it looks really better, really much better. This is Bella. Yeah, so Brooklyn, the whole point was is that everybody writes it down, so we're all praying over it weekly. And then as as we each week, if we need to add more, we will add it. And if we give praise, if we have praise reports, we can give praise reports, but we get a prayer chain going for everybody praying for each other. And that way it's not just me doing it. I was like, you know, I don't, why would I just do it? Like we should all be doing it for each other. So Yes, it is healing. Uh, Priscilla, m email me. Anybody that n came in late that needs a list, email me. My email is below any video. And just say, can you send me the list? And then I will email it back to you, okay? Well, why do you say that, Christy? I'm going to bump here or something, but. Okay, Cherise. Awesome. No, that was so sweet, Laura. You put a lot of love and effort into that. I loved it. It was very sweet, honey. <laughs> Sorry you get mad. <laughs> she wants to go out. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. She's getting upset. Let her go, she honey. She wants to go outside. So, oh, Sherry, thank you. So but you, you guys want to see our start. Ipsy boxes? Because we're like, we were trying to figure when we were going to get the video, be able to get the video up for these. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry. We I've got really to to shift my body a little bit. Let me lean on you for a minute. Oh, sorry, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find a spot that's comfortable, but let's show you what we got in our boxes. Okay, said, wait a second. Let me potty. First. Okay. <laughs> I love it that we can just tell each other the truth here and just be honest. I'm totally like that. Well, oh, yeah. Bella. But, you know, everywhere you go, there's something. An earthquake can be yeah. just as devastating as a tornado. It's so to worse. me, it's, it's not any different. And when you live by faith, we have to just know that God would not allow something to happen to us. So, um, 
We'll play one, Johnny. Yes, Johnny. We'll play one of them, sweetie. We'll see how the how the time goes. Okay, love. But um, it's so funny because we just we just got to trust no matter what because I'm telling you that we had one we had an earthquake just. What two weeks ago, and I was like, Here, choose by yourself, <laughs> and it was like, I didn't feel Oh it, my but... gosh, yes, hello, don't like it. I don't like being alone, but oh, Vonda, now remind me. Okay, see, I'm sorry, we're talking about it, and I'm already forgetting where everybody is, but I'm gonna write that down too as I we actually go hate along. This one's box, so don't expect my. I don't hate it, but it wasn't as good as last I month. Like Let's it. put it that way. But, okay, is Jamie back? Okay, she's back right when I said it. Okay, so I'll show you guys my extras first. You know they have, they have the little add-ons. This is the space case. Yeah, you can't really see it, the lighting. Let me see if maybe this helps at all. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference, but this is a pretty blue shadow, navy blue shadow, and it's from... Base case cosmetics, okay, but um, I love the the navy color of it. So, oh, Jeannie, congratulations, sweetie, you guys, that's amazing. Show her some love so she can get there. That's amazing. And then I got which I'm a little bit bummed because I ordered this and then I got it in one of my Ipsy bags. So now I have, uh, I'm going to probably put Aww. them in giveaway stuff, but Priscilla. I love this concealer. This is a great concealer. Priscilla Nelson said at my husband is sitting here and he heard your voice and he said, you're his favorite. That I will, that she Thank you. Priscilla's husband. What's his name? I don't know. Tell me his name, Priscilla. So I can say hi. Oh, Jeannie, thank you, honey. And so the last thing that I got was a um, Bell and Argent um, lip cream, I think it is. Hi, Kevin. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, it's a Bell and Argent lip cream. And look at how pretty that is. It's a it looks much darker on the screen than yeah, it is in person. It's a pink melon. It's, it's more of a yeah. It's not quite melon. It's more of a. Oh, kind of. It's like a warmer mauve instead of a cooler mauvey kind of color, but it's beautiful. And so for three bucks, you know, hey, I just add on some of them, but um, so. We both, we both got one of the same We both thing. got the Hanalei lip scrub, which I'm not um, disappointed with. I like lip scrubs. So this is this is kind of an eh to me, but because I'm sick, like little steps like this, I do every once in a while. But I just can't do the self care that a normal healthy person can do. So this is okay, but I don't hate it. You know like, what I mean? I like honestly. Now that I discovered the e.l.f. lip scrub, which is like in lipstick form, and you don't have to dig your fingers into it, that's like my favorite. I don't like going in with my fingers because it doesn't do the same as when you can just apply a lot of pressure with <clears throat> the e.l.f. one. Because when you use your finger, it like the it spreads yeah. and it doesn't. Stay well, under and when your you finger. have acrylic nails, you know I have to. But I got a little spatula I'm going to use now. And it's now, only three so. bucks. And always when I do my elf the one, elf I go amazing, in with though, you a guys. finger one after just to remove. To get extra yeah. stuff. But um, Aria, this is really good. It's really, really good. What is your skin tone, hon? What, like, what's your skin range color? I'll have to try the... Um, I really want to try the Color Pop Lip Scrub and the Wet n Wild one I've been wanting yes. to try for a while. Kathleen, that's true. Anna and Kathleen, yes, those are so great. Yeah, T, the one that is... Um, the Elf is the best, and for the price, you just can't beat it. You're fair. See, I'm a light. She's fair. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm like a fair and a light kind of. Fair, but I'm a true light. I guess light. I'm, I'm more of a light when I'm 
tan. Like, I'm not super... Okay, I'm super white. Never mind. <laughs> so, let's get over with the... Let's get the beef over with here. Okay. This is... Finding Ferdinand. Finding Ferdinand Lipstick. Their Choices was All Natural and Knob Hill Red. Now, on my... Oh, you can let her out. It's only okay. for you. On my time. profile... I have nudes only. So take a wild guess which one they sent me. Can you guess? Can you guess? Yes, they sent me the red. And not to mention that the All Natural is my favorite lipstick of all of my lipsticks. And they could have sent me a full size, but no, they sent me the red. And it's an orange red, which it I can't wear. It doesn't look as dark wear. as it's showing. It's, it's yes. like an uh, orange, orange This is red. a very orange, true, like what I would consider like a true red. You know, when you, it's, there's no blue in it whatsoever. And I can't wear this. And it just bugs me. That's what I hate. I mean, hate about Ipsy is they have you fill out a profile and they admitted it. We had somebody ask, somebody I don't remember who it was, told me. They specifically asked, and Ipsy <laughs> said, we do not go by profiles Excuse at me. this time. That was their official answer. And it's like, then why do you have us do it and lie to us? Because it's really lying. You have us go through it, and then you tell us to change Thank it, you. and then you don't go by it, you know? So what's the point? So yeah, I got the same one. I actually sent it to Tracy Maxa because she likes reds. So yep. I sent it to her. It's in her bag. On It'll be a Robin at her house tomorrow with her giveaway stuff that she won. So so um, we both got the we Gen both got this. The Je ne sais quoi. It Cosmetics Your Complexion Perfection palette. And I was really hoping for the little bronzer that was so darn cute from Tarte. Um, this this like is the not a thing ever. I don't you know, this I don't hate, but it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I would have to mix these two colors together to be able to use it as a blush because this to me is a color that would be on the fairest of fair skins. Like this would be someone for someone so fair that they've like never seen a drop of sunlight in their life. And, um... It, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I will use it and try it. But I, it's just not something I'm in love with, if you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean? You, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? But it doesn't... Look, the packaging is cute, but it looks cheap. Like, the powder and everything. And it Cosmetics is not known for, like, their face stuff. Like, face powder and stuff like that. They're known for their creams. And I gave her... We, we traded. traded. I forget what I traded. So I'm for. gonna put it in giveaway stuff. I think I traded for the no pourable primer. Yes, she traded me for a primer. Since the no pourable, no pour. Say that five times fast. The no pourable primer, which and I thought I was gonna love, after just a couple of hours of being on my skin, made my makeup just rise right off of my skin. It looked terrible. So she ended up getting it. So I'm never, ever trying a primer again because if my makeup looks fine without it, why do I keep adding another step? It's ridiculous. But no more no more primers um, here. And that retails for $42. And the Hanalei Lip Scrub retails for $25, $25 which is a smackers. little bit ridiculous. Yeah, when ridiculous you get that for a lip bucks. scrub. Well, you can get lip scrubs everywhere for five to seven bucks. And then the um, the Finding Ferdinand lipstick is retailed for thirty bucks. Which I'm so I'm not kidding. When I saw that my favorite lipstick out of every lipstick was one of the items, I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, thank you, thank you. And then I just got a feeling immediately that I wasn't going to get it. And I was like, please, Lord, don't let that feeling be right. And sure enough, I got the red. And it's like, uh, yeah, I you got to be kidding me. 
Like, I don't understand Ipsy why they do this. What do they do a profile for? It's actually 5.53 here, Sherry. So, hi, 616 Drones. How are you, darling? So, the next thing we got is yes, this Priscilla is the Tarte Dream we both got Big the same. Palette, which I will not be. If anybody she had somebody, wanted, didn't you have somebody yeah, that you were going to trade? They said if they got the palette I wanted, but if anybody wants to trade this for like... This is what it looks like. It depends on what you want to trade it for, but if anybody wanted this, like, just let me know. Because I don't want it. it I'm not a fan of Tarte. I'm oh, really, I love Tarte. I love Tarte. Well, first of all, I haven't really gotten oh, any of their products amazing. to try. I like the Make Believe in Yourself palette, but I haven't gotten to try any of their other stuff. <gasps> Is my shadow coming out? No, well, don't try to yank it out. What are you doing? Look at it. It's sticking up. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh, one of the but shadows is coming really out of the pan. The Frankation palette? What's the Frankation palette? Is that the Dose of Colors? Oh, it smells. Yes, that's it. I think so. I think I have that one. I think I just got that Frankation palette. I think it's if the it, newest if, one. Is it the right? eyeshadow? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I'm still undecided about whether I'm going to keep this one or not. I think the colors are pretty, but they're not really something that I don't have in other palettes. Do you know what I it mean? It smells like chocolate. It smells amazing. Let me get the palette. Oh, my I gosh. Think you're talking about are here. you talking about the eyeshadow um, palette or is it a face palette? Really, Sabrina? So you tried it. I haven't tried it because I didn't want to swatch it in case I, um, oh, I was going to, oh my gosh. The One of the colors this in this, you guys, you, right? is like, <clears throat> this lady only streams. Good day, all. Bye, 616. Thank it's you for coming. Katie. Yeah, Frankation. Yeah, I have this one. My mom, she actually, she got, got it, it for me. Her. And I love this palette. This color right here, I have to say, this doesn't have real pinks in it, though, honestly. Um, this is more like a warm, a creamy, um, I mean, it's got a little bit of a, like a melony, like a warm melon color in it. And it's got a little bit of, it almost looks like, it looks gray, but I haven't swatched it. Like a gray undertone in it. This one is like a plum, pale plum. This one is gorgeous. This is like an eggplant, and it has beautiful pink and gold, gold sparkles plant. in it, and it's gorgeous. Aria, do you have an Instagram? Because if you do, you can message me there. Yeah. My Instagram is, I'll put it in the chat. Because so, I yeah. don't look at my emails. I don't know where. I know. I don't know if she left. You can message me there. I'll answer you there for sure. My emails are iffy. Um. She. I don't. What do you mean by what happened with Just Ann, sweetie? About the. Um. About the monetization. Okay. What do you mean? Yay! Happy for Just Ann. Well, someone said she got her monetization back, and I don't. So who said that? Kaylee Heather said she was, but I don't. But she was saying she wasn't monetized when she was here. Well, yeah, she was just here a little bit ago and said she wasn't. But she is she just now saying something about it? Is she put it in her community chat? Check the community chat, babes. Tab. Or the community, well, you know, well, it's a chat tab, whatever. And so the last thing, she is remonetized now. She did. She just now did. 
we were, I just told her, didn't I? You guys all heard it. You heard it right here. It Where was going to happen faster than she said it. I said it. What? I said it. Where Thank did you, you Jesus. hear that? What? Kaylee, I think it just oh, happened. Just stand. Yeah, honey. Her yeah. Being Please. She's back People on track. People like to come back. We think so. Yeah. Yes, I bought that, Tammy, my private account. I just bought that palette. Um, and I wasn't going to buy anything, but it was, let me tell you what the deal was. Ebates was having 14% um, money back on, um, on Ulta. And then Ulta was doing five times the reward points on tart products so with the money back i ended up getting that tart palette for like 10 11 so i couldn't pass it up so i know sharice isn't that amazing i just told it to her so that's amazing i'm so happy for her i hope she comes back and says something that was just her yeah oh okay Oh, she's in Southern Moms Live, and she said that she did. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. That's remarkable. That's right. That was the Lord. That wasn't me. It was the Lord. I'm telling you. Who's trying to sign in? Okay. Okay. Do I have to press the sign in thing? No, it's on my account. Oh, okay. What well, says What's it on mine? Dylan, what's the number? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome, awesome news. So the last thing, let's do the last thing. Are the last things different, finally? I had got the... I got okay, the, go the... The chalk, chalk green tea, watery essence. I, I, I don't understand their thought process in naming it watery well, essence. It's, it's Korean. It's Korean beauty. I know, but it still doesn't make sense to me. But um, she had to change 400. I know. I know about that. Um, yes, they do. Thank you, Jesus. So I got the Sun and Park Beauty Filter Cream. I'm debating on whether I want to use this or not because... No, it's not that high, Tammy. Because it's four under your makeup, and I'm happy with the no problem right now. But they say you can use this as a last step to your moisturizer like in your skincare routine but i honestly i'm not sure if i want to add this on to my skincare routine yeah. so i'm still debating whether and, i want to keep it yeah and i have this in a trial size that i'm going to try first um the thing that i do like about this is that this is all natural and so this makes me want to hold on to it because it's made with essential oils, which I have to use a lot of things like that, babe. Um, I'll do it, honey. Please, you're not doing it right. Um, you want to see the Dream Big palette, Tracy? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Yeah. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry. It's not going to... Yeah, bring it over here more. There you go. There we go. Now shift it a little back. What are you talking or forward. About? Yeah. If you move it, it shows the colors. But it's it has a red, a purple, a really pretty golden cream, um, a brownie color, brown pink, and a matte brown, a brown purple sparkle. Oh, the one. sun and park, yeah. But yeah. I'm possibly going to trade Aria this for something. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have to be doing some trading or some selling because just because of what's going on with us financially right now. So, yeah, it's so pretty, Tracy. It really really is. Yeah, yeah I blue ivy, I have to do it because of the lupus. There's things that the minute I put it on, I'll swell up like so I have to watch what I put on my face. So they found a YouTube video. Wow, really? 
Okay, okay Tracy. Tracy. Wait, what? Yeah, one? either the one. Sun yeah. Cream or the palette? No, she's talking about the palette. You're trading Aria. She's talking to me. I think. Yeah. Because I was telling her I, I have to sell it or something. But yeah, that's amazing. I knew it was. I knew it was going to come back quick. I I just had the feeling that it would. So. But God is so good. I'm telling you. Isn't that amazing? See, look, when people come together and start praying well, for each other. Maybe she texted you. Okay, I'll check it. I'll check it. So do you guys want to this see? Is the glam um let's see. Oh no. But overall wasn't. I'm not that happy with my IP box. It was just so you know it's it not personalized for me. I don't think it was that great. That that's the thing is is don't say you're gonna personalize it oh, if one. you're not. Yeah. <gasps> we just have sinkhole in our neighborhood. We did. Look at let me show you guys the picture. This is oh my gosh, our first sinkhole in our neighborhood. Look at the hole. That is about that street is literally about five minutes from me and this is the wow that palette crazy by it's a dream big can i see yeah hold on is this where oh water was running that's just crazy sinkholes are very scary <laughs> So it, or, it looks like it's big enough to swallow up a car, like a small car. But, oh, sorry, let me go back so you can see the picture right there. But isn't that crazy, huh? Like, just, yeah, could you even imagine just driving down the street oh, and going near Bur right oh, into the ground? Oh, this is Burlington Coat Factory. Yeah, it's That's Whitewood. It's Whitewood Street. That's literally where the street yeah. that we ride from Menifee Road, you drive right up it, turns into Whitewood. That's crazy. Here. Okay, Kathy. Here, here, here. Oh. You so, do you guys want to see um, Bless Box? Hold on. Did you guys get the It Cosmetics Foundation? No, we did not. I really wanted that It Cosmetics Foundation brush, though. Nope, and that's the thing. If they would have went by my profile, I use a brush for foundation. I mean... I wanted that brush. And of course, I didn't get that in my box either. So it's like, you know, I, Ipsy, oh, Evelyn Rose, thank you, sweetheart, for coming. But it, um, it just bothers me that if they paid attention, they would be blessing a bunch of people, not, do you know what I mean? And it's not that hard to get the algorithm right in this day and age with computer technology to literally have this all done easily, but they just won't do it. They won't spend the money. So I don't think I'm going to be staying with Bless Box. I can tell you. I signed up because of the Cindy Crawford um, Meaningful Beauty Skincare line, which was really a great deal for the price. And then I got it for a deal. But um, I'm not that impressed this month, I have to say. You did too. Yeah, I it, it does kind of feel like that sometimes. No, not the Farrah brush, the It Cosmetics face, um, in the foundation brush. Shannon, I think you're behind in the video. Because I saw you were commenting about things that were like. We so talked about there's a little thing ago. that says live. Click on it, and that it will update everything. I had told her in the comments, so, but I don't know. If I have to say, live. this look, they come really very packed, very nicely. I, you guys know, you know my channel at all. I, I'm a stickler about packaging. And, um, but so this is one thing I can honestly say I'm not sure about. I'm not sure if this box is $49.99 or $29.99 because they advertise it two different prices. And I could prove that. And so I don't know what on earth this was, but I'm, um, if it was $50, there is no way I would keep this service for what they sent us this month. So this is, um, 
What is this? Oh, they sent us tampons. First of all, I'm 52 years old. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have to deal with that anymore. Let's just be real. Um, I don't ever want to get tampons and pads in any subscription box. And if anybody else here, really, I'm serious. You want me to show you how pathetic? Your discretion is advised. Yeah. How many is in there? There is one of, okay, we get a white tampon. We get a yellow packaging tampon. We get a gray and a black packaging tampon. And then we get a, two panty liners. And then we get like a, um, okay, I'm sorry, but this is just nasty. And if this is, is a, condom, a condom, I'm going to be really mad. Oh, it's a body cloth. A body it's a wet cloth. Wipe or a wet wipe. So I'm sorry, but I know not one woman who wants tampons in a monthly subscription box. I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous to me. Absolutely. We can go buy tampons ourselves. Yeah. Thank you. I. I oh my. I'm sorry, but I. I just was look floored. When I saw what this was, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, we oh, do it as a will joke you put them too, back in there? Eric. It's We're just like... so... And then, look, you guys. You know my favorite item that we just can never, ever really... Oh, my gosh. Black eyeliners is beyond... Honestly... No one else needs another black liner. I mean, come on, people. And there are... Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, good. I apologize. It's amethyst. So that makes oh, this a little bit better. I forgot it's amethyst it color. Do you want to open it and let's so we can see the color while I'm showing other things? Okay. Oh, good night, Paola. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for, for coming, coming, sweetie. Good night, Cruz. Okay, so the next thing in this thirty to fifty dollar box is this little tiny packet of Insta Peel. It is the natural exfoliant, and it com and contains one application. It stuck to my mouth. Okay, they need to say that this box is the not so much gonna bless you box because I'm sorry, tampons and a one application facial facial Hi, peel Isabella. is not that amazing to me for the money. We get one eye mask and one sheet mask. Yeah. Mm, I'll take it. Okay, yeah, I know you will, but I'm going to take it yet. I might just resell the whole box to get my money back because I'm not thrilled with any of it. We get a tiny little oh, it's a lip balm. Japanese formula UB lip balm. It's a lip balm. I know Savannah's eyeballs are going ding -a ding -a ding like she just got three sevens in Vegas or something. Yeah, but someone, Tanya, that's not gave that exciting. Me lip balms. Her and her daughter gave me lip balms and so did Kendi. And really? That just makes me so... So a, a, a 99 cent Korean thing that I could get at the little Japanese crazy. store or whatever for a dollar is in my bless box. Well, let's see. But let me... Let me, it. let me look at it. I can't... It looks super... It looks almost like a black purple. So that doesn't thrill me that much. So I'm not going to, not going to lie. We did get a ColourPop item, which it says, ColourPop Lux, give me oh, some it's lip. lip. It's a lipstick. Hey, Mr. DJ, but take a wild guess what the color is. Hmm. That doesn't look red, though. Oh, it's not. Oh, yay. Well, it's like. It's pretty. It's not It's like red, a actually. nude, nudie. Yeah, it's not bad. I like the lipstick, but 
again, here's the thing. It looks like someone opened it because the top is smashed. See it? It's inside the thing. You, I don't know if you, but it looks like someone had already opened this and played with it. Don't twist it, please. I'm not, to, just I don't want it to ruin it more. Around. So then That's we an get okay color. Um, this is Fido Paris. It does not even say what this is. It is. Um, okay, it's a leave-in hair oil. Ooh, that sounds nice. So, that's... I like okay. doing stuff, like, for my hair. Then we get an Eden Coconut Body Lotion, which looks like I would get it in my Walmart box. We which actually I'm did sorry. get that in our Target box. It's actually a nice lotion, but we did get it in our but Target box. I don't... Look at the size of this. This is a blessed box. This is an expensive box. This is not a cheap box. So, not thrilling to me. Then we get a mask. Moisture Healing Mask. And this is by Nelson Beverly Hills. Ooh, look out. Nelson. Nelson J. Then we get another lotion. Is it for your face? Higher, edu higher Education Cram Session Vitamin Fused Hydrating Lotion. Nope, it's just a lotion. Um, it's just lotion. Another skin lotion. Then we get a body oil mist from J.R. Watkins. This is natural. I like that. That's but body um, it says it's a quick dry formula and it's just an, a body dry oil. Oh. And then the last item is that is a toothbrush? A straw. <laughs> It's a glass straw that my kittens will destroy within about 30 seconds of it being washed because they love to tack straws on our countertop. So what do you guys think, honestly? What do you got? You think this is a good box for Straw. Yes, that's uh, it's a straw. It's a thick it's straw, a thick too. glass straw. But I mean, it's I would use it, but, but like... it's short. Like in the cups I use, look, I use cups like this. Look, it doesn't even, it doesn't, it won't even go to the top. Like it's literally at the thing. It would fall down in the cup. I I don't use cups that are this small, so I won't use this. I, I'm gonna end up selling. I think I'm this gonna is, just resell again, the box. This is such a random box. Tampons, lotions. tampons, this two is like lotions. A care box. Uh, it, I, I don't. It's no, more like body care. Words what they're going for, for really this box too much because it's just so odd. The ingredients of it and. I, I don't I don't know what to... <laughs> Erica Reynolds she said they call that a crack pipe in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Erica, they call it the same thing out here, trust me. I I just look, I I look, I may not be an easy to please person sometimes when it comes to this box, but this to me is is junk. This is like some stuff that oh, they the they pulled out of some warehouse that had leftover excess and they put it into a box and they said oh let's make this is so random like does anyone else think that this is a good box Tammy, Tammy. B hello but d does anybody think that this is worth the money yeah, good. Thank you, Brandy. Not worth the money. Exactly. It's like leftovers. Exactly, Mary. That's exactly what it seems like. I honestly like my Allure box more. 
Mm. Which is I I can beg to differ. I actually would much rather get that box than the lore box. Well, not me, but I just think that I don't know. I think it's sad since I don't have many videos. I guess I'll leave my lore box for a video. But um, yeah, tampons. I'm sorry, really, and a straw. She's behind in the video. I just keep telling her she's no. Behind, it's okay. Well, I think she's just bringing up some of the stuff no, that was she's in it. Behind, I've been watching her comments. So Shannon, there's a little thing if you go on the screen that says live. Move your cursor up, and it will say live. The button should be red. If it's not red, that means you're behind. So click on it, and it will bring your well, she's not gonna live. No, she know will that, right? when it gets to the part of the video, sweetie. She will. Hi, Angelia. How are you? That was called the bless box. It didn't bless me. I don't know who would bless. Maybe. Mm. I know, Jessica. Hi. We figured you were no drama makeup mama. Hi there, Jessica. What is Eric timed out? Um, I don't know. He may have hit the wrong button. Is Who? sometimes that happens when you're trying to get a troll because they're so close together, you can hit the wrong person. I know Eric and I know Dylan knows Eric, so I'm sure it was a mistake. Yeah, I think um I think he was going after somebody else. Yeah, that box did not bless me either. We're doing good, Angelia. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, way too even for $30. I don't I even think it's worth 30 but if it was 50 I want to mail it back with like a firecracker in it and be like, you keep it. I mean, it's, I'm sorry. That's a, no. Well, he didn't say anything. He just said, good, Laura. I'm glad. Safe oh, cool. For the real one. That, was that rude? I don't. No, but put it up, bad, Jeannie. Don't worry. Yeah, put up your video, hon. I got the Sigma Mystery too. I they were okay. Uh, you may have got a better one than me, but they were just okay, you know. Oh, the fluffy pillows. Which ones? The white ones or the blue? They're both at TJ at Ross. I found them at Ross actually. Oh, thank you, hon. My girlfriend Erica made me this beautiful headband right here, and I'm putting it to use. <laughs> oh, Samantha, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Did we get you down on the prayer list, Samantha? Ooh. No, she wasn't here. Samantha, um, before you go really quick, do you see the pencil? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's okay. Do Guys, either Eric will be back soon. I'm sure I know. it's fine. Right here, girly. Samantha. Springman. What do you ladies use on your name? Well, these are acrylics. Um, she would have to tell you. I use creative nail. I do both of our nails. I used to do nails a long time ago for many, many years, like over ten years I did nails. And so, um, but this polish, oh my gosh, I'd have to get them. I'd have to get them, but they were polishes we got in our Ipsy bags. So. Well, mine is Sally Hansen, and I and don't it recommend was, it. No, it was the worst polish I've ever used in my life. Oh my gosh. Where do I get what, sweetie? The, um, the creative nail, the powder? You mean the stuff to do your own nails? Oh, thank you, Angelia. Why did you cry, Jessica? Oh, honey, Tracy, we'll get some rest, sweetheart. We'll talk. We'll talk tomorrow, babe. No, it's fine, Tracy. Don't feel bad. It's fine. We all make mistakes. I've done it before. She's done it before. Dawn's done it before. It's okay. Is dinner ready? No, was it? Did it? Did she hit it by accident or something? No, she. Oh. Well, no, she didn't hit it by accident. She took it um out of context. Oh, okay. She misconstrued. Oh, it's okay. No worries. But gosh, yeah, Tracy. But if you're not feeling good, honey, rest. 
don't worry about this. I, Dylan and Dylan's got me covered and you know. Yeah, well, you can get it, but the brand you get is very important, trust me, because there are brands that make the filing process terrible and exhausting. The one really great thing about Creative Nail is you don't have to be licensed to get it. Anybody who wants to try to do their nails can do it. And um, it is one of the easiest products to file. Like you just boom, 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 boom. And, and it's really a very good product in that process of it. I have a flex shaft, which is the electric drill, but mine just died. And it's like, a, oh my gosh, they're like, when I bought that, it was 300 and something dollars. I can't imagine they got cheaper. But so now I'm having to do it all by hand. And um, I need new acrylic and new liquid and a new brush right now, which is like a hundred and something dollars. So I am not thrilled about that. Um, well, you can get smaller sizes if you go, Aria, go on um, eBay, put in Creative Nail. You can get the small, like, one ounce or two ounce jar and those will only be like twelve dollars and then just get a smaller liquid you could get it everything you need to do the primer everything you need to do for under the 50 bucks if you get the smaller sizes and that will last you i would the powder could last you probably 50 sets of nails even in that smallest size if not more the liquid is what will be what you run out of the fastest. The primer, when you get a primer, that primer will last you years, literally. And you don't, it doesn't go bad. It's pure chemical. It's not going to go bad. Um, but what you will have to replace is the, the liquid. So if you want to get a larger liquid and a small powder, and what I do is I do not, to make it easy because of my illness, I do not do the pink and white. I just do the best powder out of creative nail is the pink. So get the pink. Do not get the, the natural because the natural is like a hot mess to work with. It's self-leveling. The natural is self-leveling. So in that sense, it's really nice, but you can't form it. It gets like a blob. It like sticks to your brush. It is so hard to work with. And I, I ran out of the pink and all I had was the natural. And since we haven't had the work, I'm having to use the natural right now. And it's taken me like three times as long to do my nails. On her, it was really easy because I'm working on her hands. But when I do my own hands, it's very hard to do with the natural. It's sheer. Priscilla, bye, sweetie. Why would you be scared to get acrylics? I don't, they're not that, unless you're scared of, them hurting. Ooh, I'll have to check that out, Jeannie Owens. The Joy of Mia. I haven't heard of them. Yes, it's sheer. It's not going to be, it's not going to, you can put it over your whole nail and you'll still see the pink and white. You'll still see the, the lines of your own nail as it grows out. Yeah. And it will make the tip, it'll, with a white tip, you'll still see the two different it's colors. It's actually really pretty. It looks I pretty. I almost didn't change it because it looks like an ombre, like a really pretty nice natural You can ombre. wear it natural with the pink yeah. because it's a sheer pink. It's not a cloudy, opaque pink. So that's what I like about them as well. Although sometimes I like the, the darker to be pink. And I like the, for me personally, but you know... Right now, I'm just happy to be able to do it and have nails and be here to have another day to have nails. So yeah, the thing you have to sacrifice with acrylics, Jessica, you will ruin your nails. They will take a yeah, little bit of gonna time. Yeah, it's going to mess up your nail. But, but, like, I think they're worth having. Because hi, Dom. They honestly make me feel so much prettier. <laughs> okay, I Heather. Just, I love having acrylics. Perfect, wow, we've sweetie. we've been going for two and a half hours. Oh, have we really? Wow, that just flew by, you guys. Yeah, but we've got to go eat too, you guys. I could literally stay on here chatting with you guys for like another two hours. So maybe we'll do it another day this week. Like since I haven't been well enough to do videos, it's easier to just pop on and do a live even if I'm in bed. 
So um, maybe I'll see you guys on Friday. If that, if if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it on Friday. What about Johnny's? Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, Johnny, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you next time and I'll do extra videos because our food is waiting for us right now, sweetie. So I will do extra videos for you next time, Johnny, okay? I love you guys. Bless you. Have a great week. I'll talk Bye. to you later. Bye.